It's Spirit 1053, Scott and Sam, and uh, there's a special concert going on tonight you should go to, and it, you'll just, I don't know, it, it's just going to be so uplifting and encouraging. You can take your kids, your family, your friends to this thing and hang out. Have a good time. Overlake Christian Church, it's going to be Aaron Schust, Building 429, and a brand new friend right here in studio. That would be Meredith Andrews. Thanks for getting out here. It's my pleasure. Good to be with you guys this morning. Now, maybe you heard all morning long we've been talking with people about who their heroes are, and so we wanted to put that to you. Who... Who's your hero? Well, other than the obvious, my parents and, you know, a couple of my close friends, I've been reading a lot about Mother Teresa lately and just how she loved like Jesus loved, you know? Um, I got to go to India a couple years ago and work in an orphanage, but just to see, like, just to read about um, how she lived her life and how she loved people and how she gave of herself, and she just wanted to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And so I think I just think that's amazing. And yeah, I'd say she's my hero. So what was it like going to India and, like, seeing kids in an orphanage? Did, did they, like, run up and swarm you? And- well, do you have all day, Scott? Because it was most, one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Um, did, did it make did you cry? You, well, sure. I mean, there were a lot of experiences that were very touching, like a lot of moments that made me cry. But these kids are so amazing in the way that uh, it's a Christian orphanage. And... um they're in a in a nation that is not a Christian nation, but they love the Lord with all they are. You know, every day they have these prayer services and they'll sing their hearts out to the Lord. And it's just, it's amazing. Like, I, I was just so humbled by their faith as five-year-olds, you know. Um, I definitely want to take a few home with me. That is so cool. Yeah. All right, so what song are you going to do for us? Um, It's called You're Not Alone, and it'll be on my new album. And what is the name of your new album, Meredith? Oh, uh, well, I think we're going to call it The Invitation, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan, at least. All right. Yes. Oh, we're ready for you. All right. I search for love when the night came and it closed in.
darkest night And I'm the one who's loved you all your life All of your life Wow, girl! <laughs> You're so small, and you have such a powerful voice. You know, I think if I had a dime for every time somebody told me that, I'd be a powerful <laughs> lady. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you. Guys. It's awesome. Thank yeah, you. absolutely amazing. So, what, what happened in, in? So, this is the way it happened. You know, you were raised in a musical family. They drug you into the church. You were made to play on stage, and then they they thought you were cute, and they were all going that. Wow, that big voice and that and that little girl, and then and then next thing you know, somebody else discovered you, and here you are. Is that your life story? You, well, not real, maybe a little bit, but I went to a really small church when I was little. Yeah, yeah they kind of did. They were like, "Here, you stand on stage, sing your little song." And I was six years old, you know. They're like, "That's really cute," and I'm like, "Okay, I'm oh, cute, what, whatever." So, um, that's how I got my start, and I never really thought, like, even as I was going through high school and college, I did music on the side, you yeah. know, lead worship at my church and, um, things like that. I never really thought that it would ever be necessarily my career but it was like the lord just led me into this and i remember going to rebecca st james show when i was 17 and afterwards i was just like lord i'd really love to do something like that and i felt like i was saying to me meredith be faithful where i've placed you and so i've learned over the years like what it means to be faithful in those little things and now i feel like lord has entrusted me with much as well and i want to be faithful in that too She's like so sweet, isn't she? <laughs> okay, well, Sam, you're a matchmaker, so I was just wondering: Are you fixed up with anybody? Actually, are you already? Yeah, are you sorry, married I'm or something? I'm actually engaged. Oh, you're yes. engaged. Uh huh. Well, I mean, who is this guy? He, it, he actually plays keys for Jeremy Camp. His okay. name is Jacob Suter. So I'm sure they've done the the background check and everything. So yeah, I, I guess that's there's fine been then. Several. Okay. Um, yeah, poor guy. Well, I feel if there's sorry any any him. more that needs to happen like that, we're more than happy to, to take <laughs> on the dad role. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's a pretty done deal. You know, I got yeah. the ring on my finger. We're, we're in for the long haul. So. Yeah, well, congratulations. So when are you going to get married? May 23rd Whoa. in North Carolina. Yep. Yeah, well, that's a long way to it. Are we going to get an invitation or something? I mean, maybe. Yeah, you we may know. just have to send yeah. a gift card. You don't card. want to see Scott at the buffet. <laughs> you don't want to see the wedding mints and the okay. flying every which way. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody knows I eat like a sprinkler. Okay. <laughs> I think you're supposed to use sprinklers now. Uh, okay, Meredith Andrews, uh, is, tonight you're going to be performing that and some others. When does your, yes, um, when does your music come out? April, I believe. April. That's well, what we're shooting April. for. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the name of the album is? The Invitation. The Invitation. Okay. Yes, sir. Meredith Andrews. And it's tonight, Building 429. Aaron Schust, who were previously in here. Awesome job. Thank you.